Hey. I'm Chef Tom, ATBBQ. You guys know. Happy New Year. Just kicking it today, you know? We're at public at the brickyard. Having a little sit. Having a little sip. Just kind of reflecting on the year. We had a year. We had a big year. I feel like we've been turning out these recipes left and right. You guys know, you're cooking them. Looks good. Added Chef Britt to the team. What up, Britt? I'm tired though. A little bit tired. I think we got one more in us though. Not gonna leave you hanging. I appreciate you guys so much. You're watching, you're cooking, you're doing a great job. So this one today, we're gonna make it easy. This is fresh oysters with charred mini nut. Let's get it! Well, for me, there's no better way to ring in the new year than with some fresh oysters and some bubbly. So today we're gonna to be making those fresh oysters with a charred champagne mignonette. Now, oysters and mignonette are one of those classic French pairings, and it's nothing to be intimidated by. Mignonette is a really simple sauce. It's essentially just vinegar, black pepper, and shallots. Now, we're gonna bring some fire into the recipe by charring off our shallots, and that's the very first thing we need to do with this recipe. When I told you guys this was gonna be easy, I meant it. We're not even using a grill today. All we've got is a chimney starter here, a little fire starter underneath. Let's get that lit up. All right, so we're just gonna load that up with some lump charcoal and let it get started. All right guys, about 10 minutes in, our grill grates are super hot on top of the charcoal fire here. I'm just gonna take this paper off the surface of the shallots, and then we're gonna go right onto the grill grate. And we're just gonna roll these around on here to get a little bit of char. All we're looking for is that flavor from the charcoal itself. We don't need to fully cook these, we just wanna get a little bit of color on them. So we're getting some really nice char on these here. They're starting to soften up a little bit, which is fine. That's not gonna hurt anything. And you can see how that Outsides turn yellow a little bit just from the smoke that's going on there. I'm gonna turn these one more time, but they're almost done. All right, these have all the color we need. Let's snag them off of here. Well, these shallots have finally cooled down enough for us to chop them up to make our mignonette sauce. Now, mignonette sauce usually uses a raw shallot, uh, but of course we like to grill everything. And beyond that, you can really get a lot of flavor out of the char, not just the char itself, but as the sugars caramelize during that charring process. So we're gonna treat this just like an onion here. We'll dice it up nice and small, super fine pieces. We wanna include some of that char in the sauce itself. It's gonna lend a lot of flavor. So we'll throw these in our bowl. We're gonna build our mignonette sauce here in this bowl. Now for the mignonette sauce, I told you guys we need a little bit of vinegar. So today we're gonna to be using champagne vinegar because New Year's Eve. I'm gonna add about a half cup of vinegar in here. And that third ingredient that we have to have for a mignonette sauce is some fresh cracked black pepper. Also just gonna do a splash of a little bit of hot sauce here. We got the Killer Hogs hot sauce. This is not necessary, but totally delicious and goes right along with the flavor profile that we're going for. All right, we got the char from the shallots. We've got a little bit of that vinegar pop. We've got a little bit of that black pepper. Everything's there, hot sauce, a little heat. We just need a little champagne. Just a splash. Couple tablespoons there. Let's get the homies together and eat some oysters. We've got a handful of East Coast oysters today. This is a Chesapeake Bay. So what we're gonna do is take our little oyster knife. Don't try to use anything else, please. Just, just get yourself a little oyster knife. It'll be the safest possible way. If you cover that up with the towel, you're less likely to hurt yourself. And then you're gonna find this hinge at the skinny side of the oyster 
insert the knife, just a little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And it's gonna pop open and you're gonna continue to just kind of move that knife back and forth. Now the oyster's attached on the top and the bottom, so take that knife and slide it across the top there. And then take your knife and slide it across the bottom. If you really wanna get fancy, do a little flip on your oyster. But look at all of that liquor in there, that salty, juicy, briny goodness. This is the reason why we don't need any salt in our mignonette. All right, let's get a taste before we get everybody in here. Just a little spoonful of our mignonette on top. Mm. So fresh, so briny. I love that acidic pop from the mignonette. Just a touch of char, but it's cold. It's chill. I mean, this is how I want to spend New Year's Eve with my homies eating oysters. All right, we're going to just tray these up here. A little bit of rock salt is a great idea. Great way to be able to display these without them tipping over and losing all of that juice. Just snuggle those guys right in there. Yeah, you're going to spend a little time shucking some oysters. But your loved ones are going to appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a fantastic year, and we appreciate all of you who are following along and cooking at home. Want to wish you a great 2020. Happy New Year's from the entire ATBBQ family. Have some of that down. Cheers, guys. Come check us out at atbbq.com. We'll see you next year. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.